uh, has anybody noticed with their vehicles before, your vehicle feels different in the summer than it does in the winter? Doesn't it feel like it just moves easier during the summertime than it does in the wintertime? Yeah, I see you're going, yeah, right? Because you probably spend enough time in your vehicle. I've noticed that too. And so I changed it, uh, all synthetics on uh, one of my trucks uh, on the bottom end. And it had that summer feel year round. Use less fuel too, right? How many times has it been beat into you? Right, making sure that your tires are properly inflated. Make sure that you check during the winter time as well as the summer time. Because what happens is every 10 degrees drop, drop in temperature, your pr tire pressure goes down by one pound. Okay, have you all seen, especially lately, I've been noticing people driving around with underinflated tires? It wears them out fast too. Everybody, you can all afford to buy a bunch of tires, right? You're a quiet bunch. <laughs> Over here we've got the Buick Regal Turbo. Again, that is just a two liter engine in it. It has a, you know, more get up and go than the uh, sports cars did in the 1980s. Uh, no, it's not all wheel drive, it's just front wheel drive. Okay. If you want to see what uh, CVT uh, sounds like or reacts like, uh, on the dynamometer on the other side of the lab, uh, I've got the uh, Subaru Impreza. You can actually listen to it if you wish. Sure. I'll take some prompting. Okay. All right. I'll go over there. All right, I'm not going to really force this car too much because when the engine is cold, it consumes more fuel. Therefore, during the winter time, you naturally get concern, or, uh, consume more fuel because part of the energy of the fuel is going towards water the engine. All of you have noticed this, correct? You get worse time in the group than the uh, winter time? So, I'm just going to run over a little bit to uh, what I've been up with. 